you know what has transpired so far in the drug case that we are hearing about because there have been a lot of developments and it seems to be a very dynamic case could you give our viewers a clarity as to what we have what we know uh, as of this point sure so you know uh, sharan with all these uh, acquisitions counter acquisitions narratives that are floating around in the media with various ideological groups wanting to give a particular perception to the viewers so the most important thing is when it comes to facts right i mean they do not care about what the narratives are right so it's important to brief the youth especially of india because we have a 35 crore plus population under the age of 18 who are trying to make sense of what's happening Right. so we start off with the sequence of events and facts right narcotics control bureau which is the premier organization of indian government one of our pride uh, you know of india when it comes to busting the drug trade the very dangerous drug trade they got a tip off that one of a luxury cruise liner which was sailing from goa to mumbai had a rave party in which hard drugs were being you know used right. so once they got a tip off they went in there uh, you know they uh, Uh, disguise themselves as customers and at uh, uh, once they busted the rave party uh, to their i'm sure to their surprise as well and to their shock they uh, you know chanced upon the son of possibly one of the most famous indians in the world and uh, one of the most famous movie stars right so that got the media very interested in this because that comes with the terrain the highs of any public figure are very high the lows are very low and that got the interest and uh, with the prime accused the charges the charge sheet reads that there have been 13 grams of cocaine and there have been 22 pills of mda ma which is also called as ecstasy and other hard drugs you know which are very dangerous not for only for the person but the society per, per se now uh, you know this should also be a, a lesson for uh, the youth that you know the procedural systems which everybody in india gets they should not be you know Uh, brainwashed by the communists to tell them there is nothing left here in the judicial system so the process as it happens him along with the other people who are caught the superstar's son uh, got the uh, you know they got their lawyer they got their defense lawyer the state put up its prosecution lawyer and right. you had you know them appealing their arguments based on the evidence which the ncb had and the you know the, the uh, accused also got access right and what is being done you know is being politicized and these religious angles are given it is very important to put the facts out right. and sadly it's being done by all sections of this uh, media with very few notable exceptions now i'll just read out the names of the other 20 who are in custody and who have been denied bail and uh, on a lighter note they, apart from the a uh, few other minority communities they are from pretty much all the faiths so now the counter argument could be that why not people from other communities right so you mm-hmm. have arbaz merchant merchant you have munmun dhamecha you have mohak jaiswal you have vikrant choker you have nuprut satija gomit chopra ishmeet singh abdul kadir shreyas nair manish rajgiri avin sahu gopal anand samir sagal manav singhal bhaskar arora achit kumar Sinedi Igwe a Nigerian national Shivraj Ramdas Okaro Uzaimo again a Nigerian national right so right. these are the people along with the superstars you know uh, eldest son who are currently in custody so that is where uh, uh, Sharan we are currently at the uh, that is where the case right now is please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit cittti.net dhanyawad namaskar